Okay, so here we have a box, and you know, keep in mind, at this point in the game, I don't know what's inside this box, but you know, I see it's from, I, I guess, Germany. I guess that's German on there. I know a lot of those limited release companies are out of Europe, so I'm assuming it's one a game I ordered a while back. I just, I, you know, sometimes these games take a year, you know, nine months, six months to get, which is kind of, I mean, that kind of sucks, but I mean, at least we, at least so far, I've gotten everything I have ever ordered. You know, I'm sure something will happen in the future that'll make me, you know, sing, you know, change my tune when it comes to that. But, you know, right now I just, you know, I complain about things taking too long to get to me. Okay. I know what this is. Okay. So this is the new Ninja Warriors game, Ninja Saviors. I believe it's Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors. And this is the, um, God, this is the Tuned Collector's Edition. And, you know, interesting thing about this game, I pre-ordered this uh, before I even owned the Nintendo Switch. Don't ask me why I got the Switch version. I mean, I'm kind of glad that I did. And if I want this game on the PS4, I'll just get the, you know, Japanese copy or the, you know, worldwide release or whatever from PlayAsia. And I'm sure it'd, you know, be 30, 35 bucks, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so Strictly Limited. You know, they they make real collector's editions, you know, the packaging. It reminds me of, you know, I'm, Christ, almost 40 years old. It reminds me of, you know, some of the PS1, you know, work at Lunar, you know, working designs releases on the PS1, PS2. Um, you know, not to say that companies like Limited Run Games don't do that. They certainly do from time to time. Um, but they don't put the attention to detail in every release um, like a company like Strictly Limited does. And, you know, I'm just nitpicking at this point. I'm just glad they do physicals on stuff that normally be download only and we can just have it forever. You know, it's important to somebody like myself that's older. You know, I'm sure the younger generation probably doesn't care about that type of thing. It'd be cool if they do, but here we have a soundtrack. Now, a soundtrack, you know... <sighs> You know, we really don't need CDs and stuff like that anymore. You know, I collect them. You know, I collect music CDs just like I do video games, all media, really. Um, you know, I like to, I like to have the soundtrack. You know, in most games, especially games where I vibe with the soundtrack, I really like it then because I'll bring it in my car with me. I'll rip it, throw it on my phone, MP3 player, whatever. And these are chopsticks. Could you imagine going to like a Chinese restaurant or wherever you would use chopsticks and just busting these out? And for somebody to recognize them, like, wow, those are the Ninja Survivors. Those are the chopsticks from the Ninja Survivors Return of the Warriors Tune Collector's Edition. That'd be some shit, wouldn't it? I wonder if that's ever going to happen. But here we have some more artwork. These look like, like cards, like something you would send somebody, but it's I guess it's concept art. Um, and they did do some reads of, I mean, I've played through, I, this is actually a game I owned as a kid. My mom got me the, the original on the Super Nintendo, and I noticed the first time I played this game on the Switch, I noticed a lot of differences um, between the two games. Not to say that this is a bad game. This game is excellent, and I would consider the superior version. Look at that poster. But um, this is a game that, it, for whatever reason, it, it's probably because it's really good. You know, it got expensive over the years, and I think Ninja Warriors on the Super Nintendo is like, hundred dollar game now isn't it? it's kind of expensive I know it's like at uh, gamers paradise up in Joppa my favorite uh, place to buy video games uh, this game is like I think over a hundred bucks I don't know it's been a while since I looked at the price on it but let's see what comes inside of the you know just the, if you got the regular edition you obviously would have just gotten this let's see if it's any kind of manual you know I like that they put stickers on the case that kind of tracks it or it shows that however many out of however many look at that manual so big it won't even fit inside the case that's awesome now for manuals like that they should put hinges on the other side of the case that way you can fit a nice big manual in there see that look at that uh reversible cover art Ooh, i like that oh i like that too though i mean they both look pretty good but you know when i see the good cover art inside in any game for whatever system I always flip it over because I want it to look as good as it's gonna get okay so here we have and I know what this game is guys so here we have a game from super rare games and you know I would just based if I didn't already know based on the size and shape of this packaging that this is in fact a switch game um, but look how convenient they make this packaging it's so much uh, so much easier than using the switch blade just tear it right open and pull it right out. And here we have Evo Land. Evo Land. Now, this game, I didn't even know that this game was a thing until I heard that this company, Super Rare Games, was doing a physical on it. 
and then I looked at gameplay footage and I was like, oh my God, this game does look pretty cool. Um, and I will say, and as, at this point I've only played it for a couple of hours, um, it is it is a really cool game. I haven't got to the shoot 'em up levels, which is the part that really intrigued me about this game. But um, there's there's another game that actually just came out on the Switch, and I think the PS4. It's like it's some kind of uh, Japanese arcade uh, challenge game that has different mini games in it. And I thought that's what this game was going to be, but this game's kind of interesting now. When you first start, like, when you put the game on, it's kind of like a Game Boy Zelda action RPG style of game. And it starts off like you know black and white or green or whatever the Game Boy colors are, and you kind of you get you get color and then you get like the better pixels and the better movement and the better controls and it kind of plays out the the evolution and that's why it's called Evo Land I guess of you know video games and whatever genre I guess that you're playing at that point. And the stories are kind of simple and you know but it's it's really cool. Um, and God, I tell you what, for not having this like big fancy collector's edition, super rare games they uh. They pack a lot of different stuff in their packaging, and it's uh, it's pretty impressive. You know, for whatever, what, 30, 35 bucks or whatever for a budget release, um, you know, pretty impressive. You know, a lot more impressive than buying a, a shell of a case from a AAA game, a GameStop, you know. Here you get cards and manuals and, like, the whole game on the cart, which I think is pretty important. Let's see what else we get in here. Let's see what kind of manual comes in this thing. Let's see. Okay, well, not a giant manual like we saw in the last game, but, you know, decent sized manual, fits right in there. Um, yeah, the inside cover art looks good, the cart looks good, uh, the case looks okay, it's okay, I guess it's okay artwork for the case, I would have probably went with something else, but, um, <laughs> you know, manual looks pretty good, nice color manual. Um, yeah, you know, can't complain, you know, Super Rare Games, again, that's another company that goes a little bit uh, above and beyond, you know, when it comes to hooking the customers up on the packaging. All right, so here we have a game from Limited Run Games, and I could not tell you what this game is. I've ordered some stuff from them that took, it, now I don't know when I'm gonna see it or if I'm ever gonna see it. Hopefully I'll see it one day, um, but I don't know what this game could be. I have no idea. Could be one of a dozen different games. But let's crack this thing open and see what secrets lie within this packaging. Because we all know this company, you can take a year to get your product sometimes. Okay, Mercenary Kings. Okay, never played this game. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't even remember ordering this game. I do not remember ordering this game. I'm sure I did at some point, probably at you know midnight when Limited Run didn't sell all their copies and this game looks semi-interesting but I mean the stores around me sell these games in their stores there's chain video game stores like little like family-owned small chains of retro video game stores um, just press play in Pennsylvania they got a couple of stores that they all carry limited run stuff for the same price they sell it for on their website then there's another store called Regen and White Marsh. They, they have a little bit of a markup on the product, that, you know, because they got to make a couple of dollars. I get it, they're a business, and they don't have the same deal that Just Press Play has, but I'm just grateful they actually do carry some of the product in their store, especially some of the cooler stuff. But, um, you know, one thing that really kind of bothered me about this game is the disc was rattling around in the packaging. It was, like, loose inside the packaging, and I had a copy of Darius Burst Chronicle Saviors not work because of that on the PlayStation 4. So, you know... I don't even know if this game's gonna work or not. I'm assuming it probably is, but you know, like that Darius game didn't look scratched or anything and it just didn't work for whatever reason. So if any of you guys ever had an issue with a Darius Burst Chronicle Saviors game not working on your PS4, let me know in the comments down below. Cause my copy looks clean and I, you know, I couldn't tell you. But uh, manual looks nice on this one. It's like a comic book. So I'll give them props on the manual. I'm extra critical of limited run games just cause I've waited so long for some of their games to get to me. but. You know, this one looks pretty cool for just a standard release. We got a manual, and I'm assuming that all the game's on the disc. And, uh, you know, I heard this is a pretty cool game. I just haven't played it yet. But, um, yeah, that's Mercenary Kings on the PlayStation 4.